In this video, I want to give you guys a quick update about my collection situation and what's currently right now happening. I've been trimming down a few of my collections because I want to make some room and some space for games that I'm actually looking for. Especially in my PS5 collection, I had the feeling that I had way too many of those alibi PS5 games. You know, games that you can just play fine on a PS4. Games like Gungrave Gore or Sorrow the Chronicles and a bunch of other shovelware games. Also games that I did not enjoy much, such as Star Ocean The Divine Force. I know people, especially the RPG fans, like the, the Divine Force, but for me the Divine Force was not a good game. If I ever feel the need to play any of those games again, I'm not gonna grab them for the PS4, but I don't necessarily need them on the PS5. I wanna grab the next-gen stuff like Space Marine 2, Stellar Blade, Rise of the Ronin, and all those type of games I want to grab for the PS5. So while I was at it, I decided to grab and sell a bunch of other PS4 stuff and Xbox stuff that I didn't need, a bunch of duplicates and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, let me show you. This is where I work here. Um, having those pallet bags, wet tissues to clean up the cases and stuff, got some mailers. I have a lot of packages and boxes lying around in my living room. Um, but I want to show you the stuff that I'm about to sell. I'm using those uh, bookends from the Collect Edition, uh, from the Model Combat Collect Edition for demonstration. And if I'm selling like loose discs, uh, I'm using this Sackboy here from from the PS3 era that I bought a few years back. This thing is huge and heavy, man. I'm telling you. Uh, what was this controller guys or cable guys? No controller guys. I think they call it right. Not sure. I bought that many years ago. It must be around 2012 or so. You know, it's. Uh, I always thought that Sackboy is the is the face of, of PlayStation, but I think Astrobot, you know, took over now. Anyhow, back to the games and I want to sell. At the moment, I'm preparing here a bundle of games that you know, I don't necessarily need anymore. Games like uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. That's the only Naruto fighting game that I ever played. I do have it also on the PS3. I have it sealed though, but this is the one that I played with and I'm feeling I don't need it anymore. Marvel vs. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Another game that I have on that PS3 and I also have it on the PS4, so not necessarily that I have the Xbox 360. A bunch of other titles. Mass Effect. Uh, I do have the collector's editions and I'm gonna keep those and I'm gonna sell the standard ones. I think right now on the 360 it might be the worst experience you're gonna get for the Mass Effect series for the simple fact that you're gonna be able to download the DLC characters in part 2 and 3 which might be essential you know to have like the complete experience especially in Mass Effect 3 it feels like the DLC character was part of the story anyways. But yeah, and uh, I'm having also a brand new C copy of The Evil Within. It's a dope game. I played on Xbox One though, but I finished it like two times. This is an awesome game. The second game was good too, but I think the first game was a bit better. So yeah, those games and this Xbox 360 that sadly has uh, a few issues. And main the main problem right now is the disk drive because you can open it up and put the disk inside, but. You need a few tries till it finally reads the disc and uh, that's usually not a good sign when something like this happens so i was trying to sell this bundle for i don't know maybe 70 bucks or so like the stuff that i'm selling i, I really go for low prices man because uh, i just want to get rid of um the stuff and make some room and space so and from a reseller perspective it doesn't make any sense but for me every single time i bring a package to the post office or a mail or anything it feels like somebody's taking some weight from my shoulders you know so um and i appreciate that then <clears throat> i'm preparing another bundle i think that includes a ps2 slim a memory card obviously a controller this is actually in pretty good shape and uh, i'm looking for a few games a bunch of duplicates that i have no trash games uh, i'm gonna have bunch of really cool games about 10 games or so and i'm not gonna sell this for 70 bucks as well maybe this is not my slim 
Okay, my slim is here. This is my one, but uh, yeah, this is gonna be uh, listed soon. Here I'm having some loose stuff, uh, like cases, disc, and whatnot. Uh, like a last Bronx from the Sega Saturn, which is a dope game, but um, the game disc is not inside, it's just an empty case. Well, it's not empty, it has the special edition disc and the manual, but it doesn't have the game disc. And uh, loose disc over there for classic Xbox and PS2 and whatnot. This is Paul stuff, loose games like Crash Bandicoot 3. And I'm having this game here that I would love to have it in my collection but complete. Afro Samurai. I want to have this game so bad in my collection now, but I don't want to have it just loose. I want to have it complete. Or maybe I'm going to keep the loose this one now. I don't know. But am I going to sell this? Over here, I'm having a, a very nasty looking Dreamcast. That is the Dreamcast that I just bought not that long ago. Um... I'm not sure if you guys remember that video when I showed you my Dreamcast bundle with games like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Jack Grant Ready, and a bunch of other stuff that I bought for 180. So the Dreamcast console with the two controllers, two memory units, and one rumble pack is still there. And I'm gonna add also three games, Sonic Adventure, Crazy Taxi, and Shenmue, which are duplicates. I'm not gonna sell this for 50, 60 bucks, ain't gonna lie. So I am, I'm very confident that as soon as I post this, this is gonna be just gone, you know. But I have in total four Dreamcast. So I would appreciate if actually somebody's gonna take that from me. Uh, this is a deal that I made yesterday. The guy's gonna come later. Uh, he bought all the Xbox Classic uh, Duplicates and all the sports titles, man. I I really appreciate him. He's taking all the sports games from NBA Live, Madden, and the 2Ks and whatnot. Bunch of other stuff as well. This is actually an awesome game, but it's incomplete, unfortunately. So yeah, I don't know. I, I do collect uh, sports games, but I would love to have them uh, for the PS2 actually. You know, so that's why I want to have my Xbox Classic Collection. I prefer to have it a, a small Xbox Classic Collection because the bag is full of games, man. I don't know how many games are here. Probably like 20 or more. Uh, that's good. He's doing me a big favor. I don't even have to bring this to the post office, I'm glad. <laughs> so it's gonna come later. Okay, let me go through some stuff that I've sold so far. So uh, I sold a stack of PS4 games, PS5 games. I sold uh, three Nintendo 64 Japanese games with two Nintendo DS games. I completed in box Xbox One with a bunch of Xbox games. Uh, and Amiibo because I had three, de three of them. Uh, more PS5 games, bunch of PS3 titles, and uh, so if the guy comes later and picks up the Xbox games in that bag, I'm gonna have 405 bucks so far. If I manage to sell the PS2, the 360, and the Dreamcast, I'm pretty sure I can get over 500 easy. And that's good because I need the cash. And I'm gonna tell you in a second why. But first, go through the rest of the Xbox stuff that I'm still having. I don't have much stuff anymore. I sold a lot of that stuff. So, here is some room for more. That's not an Xbox game. That's the Hitman game for PC. I don't even know why I'm still having that. And this is my current Xbox One collection. It's just Dead Rising 3, 2K14-15, and the 10th anniversary Witcher 3 steelbook from Poland that I got as a birthday present. I'm not gonna sell it this. Those games are gonna keep because they were all presents, so I don't wanna sell that. My 360 collection. I actually have more 360 games, but I have them in a box because I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell those too. But those one that you see, I'm gonna keep those games and my GameCube. And here currently right now my comics, 
but I'm not selling these. I ain't selling my comics. This is something that I got not that long ago. <laughs> Spider-Man and Batman. What a crazy world we live in. So, and here, uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm, uh, I'm gonna list as well. This is a box which is full with controls and stuff, but uh, I'm gonna keep those because they are very clean, especially this controller. This is from the MLB The Show 2011 uh, edition. And I'm holding on this one. This one, it just looks too cool. I'm gonna keep this one. Um, I'm having those three GameCube games listed. All those, th uh, oh, you're gonna see them. All those three games goes for about 15 at the moment but nobody wants to have them this one nobody wants to have this one too and I'm having also a, a splinter cell I picked this up during an era when I was totally into splinter cell and I want to have them all and I grabbed this one I don't I don't know for how much I think it was like 10 bucks or so and usually goes now for about 20 so I'm not gonna list this for 15 or so because I don't have a Game Boy Advance. So, yeah. Something that I have no idea what to do with it. It's this, uh, yeah, a 3DO game. Even John looks at me and says, I don't know either, bro. Yeah. So that's about it. Um, so yeah, uh, the reason I mentioned before I could use the money is because my PS5 broke. Um, I had already some difficulties and some issues with the the LAN port, you know, where you plug in your cable, your LAN cable, but that's usually not that big of a deal because you can still use your wireless LAN and install all the updates and everything you need. But over the last few days, um, the HDMI signal is also... Uh, has become very annoying it, it it disconnects and reconnects again so the problem with that is that your my tv needs five to six seconds to recalibrate the picture uh, so before you can see anything again and it's just super annoying so i might need to do some repair service and some maintenance service which i can't do so i have to i have to give it to someone i had planned to use the money to, to reinvest it in some items that i had my eye on for a long time but with this PlayStation situation at the moment, I might gonna use the money to repair it. Now, I've seen somebody who is selling his PS5 Spider-Man 2 limited edition with the design for 550, but it's brand new and it's unopened. So I'm having also an eye on that. Uh, like I said, I'm very close. No, not very close, but I think I'm gonna hit the 500 bucks. So I was thinking about, you know, selling all the stuff getting up to five 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 fifty and and grab the piece and pull the trigger on that deal you know but um yeah i'm thinking about it. what would you do in my position would you grab the spider-man 2 limited edition brand new and open for 550 or would you repair yours i mean if i decide to grab the spider-man edition uh i'm still gonna repair mine i just don't know when but um yeah i'm having got currently run out of that situation uh, but it's okay because i still have enough games to play you know, for the PS4 especially, I wanted to I wanted to play this game in the next few days because I played and finished the first one. And I really love it. I don't know. After playing Yards Rising, I'm feeling like trying out more platforms and Metroidvania games. So that's it already. Uh, that's uh, my update so far. Getting rid of stuff and making some room for greatness that are about to come hopefully soon for the ps5 and also for the other for the rest of my collection so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for my collection of the videos thank you and bye